What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and today we brought along the all new 2019 Subaru Ascent, and today we're gonna to talk about everything you need to know about Apple CarPlay on your 2019 Subaru. All right, so we're inside of this 2019 Subaru Ascent, um, and this has the eight inch Starlink touchscreens uh, with navigation and everything. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be this exact one, any 2019 Subaru will have either the 8 inch or the 6.5 inch of the screen. So everything that we say on this car will also be accurate on your Crosstrek, your Impreza, your Outback, your Forester, um, all of that kind of stuff. So, um, and that's for any 2019 Subaru. Um, so all you need to do for Apple CarPlay, um, it doesn't really matter if I'm connected to Bluetooth or not. I am connected here, but Apple CarPlay is simply another option for you to connect your phone. Uh, if you don't want to use Bluetooth, for example. Now, on the Ascent, my USB port is up here. It doesn't matter which one you use, uh, but you do need to make sure that it's a proper media cable. Some of the, you know, if, it, if it's the one that came with the phone, you're good to go. Um, some, however, if you get it at like a gas station or some, something, it's not an actual media cable. It's just a charging cable, so you're not going to get all the stuff that you need there. So all I need to do here is simply plug in my phone. And that's it. Sometimes, since I've already done it on this, on this one, sometimes it will ask allow access to CarPlay while phone is locked or it'll ask you to, um, it'll ask you to unlock your phone and then it will pop up. Uh, one thing I've noticed as well is if you are plugging your phone in too quickly, so for example, when you turn the car on and you know, you can't adjust the volume right away and like your phone hasn't connected to Bluetooth and stuff, if you plug it in at that point, it is often the case that I've found that Apple CarPlay will not work. So just kind of give it, you know, five, six seconds, let the car boot up. I think what's happening is that it's just, it's trying to boot up your phone, it's trying to boot up the car, it's just too much for it to handle, so it can't do it. Uh, but Apple CarPlay is really awesome because it literally basically just takes your phone and puts it right up there on the screen. And with Apple CarPlay, so long as you've done, and we, we did a video on this, but so long as you've done iOS 12 um, and you've done all the updates for Google Maps and Waze and everything, uh, you should get both of these apps showing up. If you haven't or you have a super old iPhone, you're probably going to be stuck with just Maps. Now, not necessarily every single app you have on your phone is going to show up here. It's really going to be mostly the music apps, the navigation apps. I think there's a couple like sporting ones. I think there's an MLB app and stuff that shows up. Uh, but you can see here I have all my music apps. And the nice thing is, is that, you know, instead of just being compared to Bluetooth and having the ability to say like next song, next song, I can actually um, click on the app and see, you know, everything here. I'm not just going to, um, you know, I could have much more control over what's playing instead of just starting a playlist and only being able to do next, 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 so on and so forth. Um, now, a couple of voice commands you can do and benefits of having this connected is when I hit the voice button, which is over here on the left spoke of the steering wheel, I get Siri. So anything that Siri can do, I can do right here. For example, sending text messages, putting in an address, asking about the weather. Um, so let's try a couple of those here real quick. What's the weather like today? It's currently partly cloudy and 30 degrees in Englewood. Expect cloudy skies starting in the afternoon and clear skies tonight with mixed conditions for the rest of the day. Temperatures are heading down from 30 degrees this afternoon to 19 tonight. Uh, really giving us the full thing there today. So, um, but so yeah, so you can do things like that. You're also much better off uh, sending text messages using Siri this way because, you know, if you send a text, you're just connected to Bluetooth. You know, you're limited to a list of five or six options. Whereas with Siri, I can text whatever I'd like to. So let's send a text to my buddy Andrew, who's behind the camera here. Text Andrew Mueller. What do you want to say? I just want you to know that I love and respect all of the hard work that you do. <laughs> Your message to Andrew Muller says, I just want you to know that I love and respect all the hard work that you do. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay. Cool. Sent. So that is not one of the texts that is a preset. I just heard his phone buzz, so he got it. Um, it's also super awkward because he's in the car, obviously. So. Um, but yeah, so th this allows you to send completely customized ones. I can make phone calls, all of that. Just really gives you a lot more control. If you're going to be receiving a text, it, it will show up on the screen. Now, if you're driving, though, the, the text won't actually display. It will just read it to you through the speakers. Now, if you want to use this to put an address in, you've got a couple options. If I just hit the voice button and say, navigate to the nearest P.F. Chang's. So let's do that. Navigate to the nearest P.F. Chang's. 
getting directions to PF Chang's. It's going to default to Apple Maps, which for the most part, people typically uh, don't like that. Um, so if you want to use Google Maps or something, and real quick too, if you want to move around on the screen, all you do is just tap this and tap this little icon, and then you can kind of move. It's not going to be like a zoom in, zoom out and stuff. Um, but if I want to use Google Maps, you know, if you're using Siri, Siri is always going to default to Apple Maps if you just say navigate to. But if I want to use Waze and I'm driving and I want to put an address in, I can do this. Waze. So now I'm on the app here for Waze, and if I want to put an address in, I just tap this. And I have to wait for that, and then I just start saying the address. So uh, this allows you to still do it while you're driving. It's going to be exactly the same for Google Maps, although I think I want to say the little um, icon is over here um, on Google Maps. But same kind of idea there, you just need to uh, say the name of the app, Google Maps, and then uh, put the address in. And since you're already within Google Maps, you're already within Waze, you don't need to um, say navigate to, it just wants you to say the address at that point. So, um, but yeah, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Uh, a lot of people really just keep a cable in the car and just plug it in every time. The only thing you're really going to lose the ability to do, for example, in this car would be change the temperature, you know, with voice activation. But honestly, I think the benefits of having Waze, Google Maps, and sending texts and things like that uh, far outweighs the lack of ability to uh, change the temperature. Also, though, since this one does have the built-in navigation here, uh, if you're plugged in, Siri is not going to be able to put an address into that navigation. So if you'd want to do that via voice, you would need to be disconnected, uh, which you can easily do. Once you unplug it, it's just going to disappear. might take five seconds or so for your Bluetooth to show back up, but um, it gives you a couple of different options. Uh, for most people, though, Apple CarPlay is the way to go. Now, another cool feature of Apple CarPlay that you can do is you can actually reorganize these icons. Now, if you try to do it on here, it's not going to let you do that, which is actually how you do it if you want to do it on the home screen. So if I wanted to move these icons around, you know, I can do that on this screen quite easily. But in order to change it on Apple CarPlay, you need to go on your phone. So you're going to go to Settings, and then you're going to go to General, CarPlay, and then you need to select, you know, Subaru here. And actually this little icon that shows up here will allow you to actually move these on the screen. So if I can actually see if I can do this live here. So it's actually going to show once it's been moved where it's moved to. So for example, if I want Google Maps on that first page, I can do that. Boop, there it is. Easy peasy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have found this video to be helpful. If you did like this video, give us a like below. And for more helpful videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Groove Super Today. Take care.